welcome to RSA 2019 here in San Francisco. I'm joined by Ross Spittler. Now, Ross is the Assistant Vice President of Product Threat Detection and Response at AT&T Cybersecurity. Ross, thanks so much for catching up with me on camera. Nice to see you again. Great to see you. So, um, I'm going to just throw some questions at you uh, straight out of the bat here. Uh, what are the biggest cybersecurity challenges for organizations now that more and more of them are moving to the cloud? It's an interesting challenge that organizations are facing as they move to the cloud. They've traditionally held a lot of the responsibility for security in their infrastructure in their traditional environments. As they move to the cloud, now they're sharing that responsibility with SaaS providers, with cloud providers, and other elements that they have within their environment, which is a new dynamic where those security organizations need to understand those features, understand where their responsibility is in, and where they should be relying on those providers. So with all of that in mind, uh, uh, what approach should uh, organizations be taking in defending their traditional networks? So really, when we look at this approach in the long term, we need to make sure that we have an approach that's dynamic, that can evolve as those providers switch in and out. One of the large promises as we look to the future is being able to be able to evolve your environment, to quickly introduce new services, to rely on third parties to provide those services. Your security model needs to be the same. You need to be able to have effective visibility into the existing environment today, but you need that to be able to adapt, to be able to evolve, to be able to change as new technologies come into that environment. Okay. Now we hear a lot of talk about software-defined security platforms. I'd love to get your take on what a software-defined security platform actually means. If you think about software-defined security, really the promise of that is something that's dynamic and something that can evolve alongside. A great example is to think about authentication. A lot of us are presented with security control of either a username and password, perhaps a multi-factor authentication. That's a static control. That's something that is set in place when that application is created. In reality, you would want something that evolves with the nature of where that user is authenticating from, how they're authenticating. If you broaden that back out to the software-defined security model, now as you have new technologies within that environment, you need to make sure that you're using those security features effectively, that you're taking what data you can from those environments, and you can detect malicious activity as your environment evolves with the appropriate visibility into each one of those services your business is relying upon. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for making time to catch up with me on camera. It's been great to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Thank you.